Hey guys, Lisa, Lisa K. Fuller here, and I am wanting to talk to you guys today about the follow-up. Okay, being in network marketing now for four and a half years and seeing the success I have, having thousands of people on my team, I can see where people fail and I can see where they succeed. And I can tell you right now that the biggest, biggest reason why people fail, besides belief, is follow up. They don't follow up. I think about the past four and a half years, how many people that I have on my team right now that I had to follow up with, some of them 10 times, some of them for months. And I am so glad that I did that because if I wouldn't have, they would have ended up on someone else's team or in another business, or they might not have ever done this at all and they wouldn't have been able to change my business and their lives. So always follow up. I know sometimes it can be uncomfortable, right? We have this like, how do we follow up with people and not be creepy? How do we follow up with people and not seem annoying? How do we know when they're saying, yeah, get back with me and they really mean it or are they just too afraid to tell me no? Okay. Well, I'm going to give you some tips on follow up and how to follow up, how soon to follow up, what to say when you follow up. I'm gonna give you the whole kit and caboodle here. So, it doesn't matter what company you're with, the, the follow up is the same. It's always the same. But the bottom line is, is you follow up. So, rule number one. Rule number one is always follow up. If a person continues to tell you, get back with me next week, and then you get back with them next week, and they say, you know what, get back with me in two weeks. Get back with me in one month. Whatever they tell you, you do, okay? It may, I've got a couple people on my team that are rock stars that have changed many businesses when they came in and it took me six months to two years to get them in the business. They kept telling me to follow back up and I always followed back up. Did I feel weird about it? Yeah. Did I feel like I was bugging them? Yeah. Did I feel like they were trying to be nice? Yeah. Guess what? They weren't because they joined my team. Until someone tells you, leave me alone, I'm not interested, follow up. When they tell you to follow up, you follow up. That's rule one. Rule two is don't wait to follow up. When you go out and you do booths or vendor shows for your business, when you do a party or an appointment, if you're in a party plan, when, you do, when you're out and about talking to someone, you want to follow up within 24 hours. 24 hours. You want to strike while the iron is hot. What I mean by that is that when you talk to somebody that shows interest in the business, they're excited at that time. They're asking you questions. They're excited. You need to strike while that iron's hot and they're still remembering the conversation you have. They can still remember the excitement that they had that you had. You got to follow up. If you wait any longer than that, they start forgetting that they were interested, forgetting that they were excited. So you follow up right away. There's actually some people that if I'm super excited about them and I really just have a strong feeling, I'll follow up with them two hours later and say, you know what, I can't stop thinking about how amazing you'd be at this. Ever, you know, we met and I can't, you know, I just had to reach out and say, I'm so excited. When can we meet? The third part about following up is when you follow up, always, always set a date to talk. Don't do it through text. Do not do it through phone. Don't do that. They cannot hear your passion. They cannot hear your excitement for this business. And they, they need to hear your voice. They need to feel that. So even if it's somebody in a different state, set up a Skype. How many different ways are there right now, you guys, that you can hook up with people through FaceTime? So many different ways. Make sure that you hook up with them, whether it's far away or nearby. Whether you get a cup of coffee, they stop at your house, or you stop at theirs. Make it convenient for them and get something right away. Get something scheduled, get it on the books, let's talk. Now, following up is the crucial part of it, about this business. How many times have you gotten a stack of leads? Maybe you did a vendor event or maybe you did an in-home party or whatever the case is and you've got leads. Maybe you're out and about. Um, with my particular company, we have a coupon. So when we're out and about, we can get leads really easily. When you have those in your hands, how many times have you gone where you never ever followed up with those leads? 
I have a tip for you that's awesome if you want to follow up with leads that you've never followed up with and you don't want to sound crazy. You're thinking, are they going to remember me? Um, how will they know who I am? Really easy way. Most of us, if you're in a business um, that is network marketing or home base, you have something to offer. You have a product so or a service. And usually you have a way to give something for free or say the word free. You, you can say the word free. One thing I like to do with all my old leads, and I never throw leads away, there are always people that I continue to follow up with, always, is when a holiday comes or something special. For instance, New Year's. What I did on New Year's was I sent every lead from the previous year, and I had hundreds. Every lead got the same text message. And if, it was, if they would rather have me contact them by email, I did it that way. If they wanted a phone call, I did it that way. And every lead... It was the same message. Hi, my name is Lisa. I'm from that crazy rap company. Um, we met last year, and I am doing a New Year's drawing with all of my leads from last year, and I picked you as a winner. When can we talk about what you won? When can I get you on the phone to redeem your gift? When can we set up an appointment? I don't say what they've won. It could be anything. Um, it could be anything you want. It could be a free health consultation. It could be a free consultation to talk about the product. They can win anything. Um, the goal is, is just to get them back, get, get you and your product back in front of them so they remember it. See, these businesses are all about timing, guys, all about timing. And the first time you contact someone and follow up, usually it's not the time. Timing is different for every single person in the world, okay? Maybe the first time that you talk to them, they had a great job. They were fine. But maybe six months later, they just lost their job. If they get a message from you. So, follow up is key. The last part about following up is use social media. When I meet somebody new, when I give them one of my coupons, the first thing that I try to do is get their phone number. The second thing that I try to do is get them on Facebook or Instagram. I want them to be able to see my life and I want them I want to be able to see theirs. I want to see when they lose their job. I want them to see um, the things that are happening in my business, the different products that I have, the lives that I'm changing. I want them to see those things. And over time, when it's the time for them, they'll contact me. They will contact me and they will contact you too. But you cannot build relationships with somebody that when you're not in their face every single day. So my advice to you is always try to get people on your social media, grow that social media, follow up often, and we can follow up without even mentioning our business when it comes to social media. You follow up every other day just by liking a post or commenting on one of their posts so you can see that you care about them and that also you want your feed to show up in their feed. And when you're communicating, it will. So with that being said, those are some of my tips on follow-up. Remember, the fortune is, is, is completely in the follow-up. Following up is the number one way that you are going to succeed in this business. Remember, network marketing in general is a numbers game. It is a numbers game. The more people you talk to, the more likely you're going to find the right people that are going to come into your business and not only change your business forever, but change their lives forever. So follow up, get leads, follow up, get leads, follow up, get leads. Don't wait. Follow up often and don't ever stop following up and don't ever throw away a lead. All right. A lot to go with today, but I think you get the picture. The fortune is in the follow-up. Have a blessed day, you guys. I love you.